I welcome you to the Google Script channel. Today in the video I will tell you about the data collection table through Telegram bot Telegram form. With this table you will be able to receive answers from Telegram bot users and record them in the table, as well as many other functions. All work is done in Google Script and the bot's work does not have a subscription fee. Let's take a look at how it works. The user launched the bot and he receives a welcome message. All tags are configured in the table. We press the Enter Data button and the bot asks questions according to the previously you entered them as well as other information, data validation and keyboards. The first question is how are you? The response is cool. The next question is are you ready to work today? With two options to choose from via buttons. The bot can send videos, documents or photos, as well as captions for these files. We enter text. Data validation is also provided here. If we enter text here instead of proposed number input, the bot calls and asks to enter numbers. Next, you need to enter the date and after receiving all the questions, the bot asks. Are the data entered correctly? We confirm the previously entered data. After that, the data is recorded in the table and the user receives additional information. Here, as I said, you can add a photo or video or document when sending. Also, the bot provides the ability to save files on Google Drive or simply accept files with the ability to download them. In the table, you can view them. PDF files, there may be photos, video files. These formats you can choose here. What type of data is necessary to accept from the user? You can save up to 10 files per one response. As I said, choose the type of data that we expect from the user and add keyboards. Keyboards and other data are configured on the settings sheet. Here you can set up white sheets, lock or open access to the user. Also, give access by password. Configure saving files in a folder on Google Drive, as well as the names of child folders and file names. Waiting time for the next message and much more. Also welcome messages, button names and activation deactivation of these messages are configured. A one-time survey can be conducted. Other technical messages are also configured on this sheet. You can also customize the keyboard. You can accept the user's phone number or location using the keyboard by pressing a button. You can customize other keyboards. Buttons can also have links to other websites. The keyboards are configured here. You can configure a custom keyboard, an inline keyboard or a keyboard with a list search. After configuring the keyboard, you can check the display of this keyboard in your test account. Bring the desired keyboard here and send it by setting the checkbox. In the table, mass messaging is implemented. You can send messages, photos to users. And here there is the possibility to choose which users you want to send the data messages to. On the users sheet is information about users is saved and you can manage their access to the table, block or activate. Here is such a bot. Thank you for your attention. A more detailed description will be in another video. Links for purchase and discussion of the table and bot in the description. See you.